Okay, so we got some taglines. Jennifer starts us off with, whoever says money doesn't buy happiness doesn't have my credit limit. Okay, girl. Jackie hits us with, I may be cut from a different cloth, but it's top quality fabric. <sighs> Margaret, you are the winner so far. I renovate, I elevate, and sometimes I instigate. I love it. Oh, that's what we need. I can tell you're green with envy, and honey, green is not your color. Girl, you made your whole tagline about Jennifer. I'm loyal, I'm lovable, but don't you dare call me gullible. What, child, you the one fooling yourself in that thruple ass relationship, not us. You the one sticking with David. And Teresa starting over never tasted so good. Ugh. How did all that restitution money taste? Did it taste like crow? Inquiring minds want to know. So Marge is upset that Teresa spread the rumor and Jackie ain't there. And now Teresa's focusing on the analogy. Well, you know Teresa's like a dog with a bone. Oh, goodness. Teresa gonna say, I'm not gonna call Jackie. She needs to apologize to me because I apologized to her. That wasn't even a half but apology. How are you gonna apologize but say where there's smoke, there's fire? And Teresa's still trying to say Jackie's acting like it's true. But we know your husband was cheating on you. Oh, the way DeLolo was so quick to split that strawberry with Teresa, they have clicked and clacked. So Teresa's selling her gaudy mansion, but at least it's in her name, unlike Sheree's edifice. So all the ladies are at lunch and they whining about kids and they men going out when they go out. It's like, I can't do nothing without them trying to do it. So DeLolo gets the bright idea since Teresa lied for Joe saying that he wasn't at a strip club. They're going to act like Melissa's flirting with somebody. Child, so now Teresa on the phone with Joe just throwing her under the bus like she wishes she really could. Melissa's like, wow, he believes her. And she knew this would mess up your merge. That's why Dolores brought it up and I bet you Teresa told DeLolo to bring it up. Because Teresa wants to f*** your husband even though that's her brother, FFTF. And I'm sorry, but if Mary can marry her step-grandpapa, I could see Teresa fiending for family phallus. Fiending for family phallus. Where do I come up with this shit? So they tell Joe it was just a joke, but they had him going. Okay, so everybody real drunk after this boat trip. Oh, more lesbonics? What is going on? Does the quarantine have everybody just on some les? I haven't seen these ladies get this lesy. Melissa just tore Marge's top off. Wow, the ladies actually had a fun moment where nobody brought up Jackie. So Jennifer swings by DeLolo's room and is happy she made up with Melissa. On the phone with Melissa, we find out Evan isn't going to hang out with the men tonight. You know, there was a lot of gossip going on at this birthday party because Michelle, Teresa's realtor, said that Joe owed her money for some project they were in together. DeLolo's like, you know she can hear you. She's in the bathroom, not another state. Oh my goodness, you just made up with this heifer and now you're going after her husband. This isn't the first time I've heard he was broke. This isn't the first time I've heard that you got that house just to get on the show and you can't afford to furnish it. And now she talk about him getting caught on Instagram acting like he was remodeling kitchens when it wasn't his work. Oh my goodness, so Joe has some grow with Gorga, men's empowerment, rich dad, po dad tea. And so apparently her husband was giving the keynote, but Joe ain't pay that note. Do I tell Melissa we just made up? No, you keep your mouth shut. That's Teresa's realtor. You let family deal with family. Come on, these the Italians. You know how they operate. We got Italians and events. Dolores said, well, now that you've been filmed hearing it, you're going to have to fess. But you got to say it right. Now with the men's, Joe going to tell the men about the stunt that the girls pulled on him. Even the men's is talking about Teresa versus Jackie. Frank's like, so let me get this straight. Well, there's a lot of things you can get straight, but I don't think yourself is one of them. Oh my goodness, Margaret's husband is, says he heard rumors about Evan stepping out on the merge. He said, look, I don't know, it was some heifer that was in my house. So Frank says, okay, men, what do we think? Is he faithful or a philanderer? Frank believes Evan was faithful probably because he made a pass at him and he turned him down. So all the men think Evan's faithful. Nobody just blew him out of the water. 
Oh, but Joe couldn't wait to run over with that worm and hop all over Frank. I mean, just spreading his legs. Getting crotch to crotch. Jennifer's husband's honestly tired of their femininity. It's funny, both groups ended up ordering sushi tonight, so now we got the women's back at Lake George. Marge and Melissa call Jackie. Oh my goodness, all I need is for Teresa to clear his name. Well, now we see that there are rumors spreading around and it might not just be Risa that needs to sweep up around the front door. Oh, she needs to call Evan and make it right. Well, I'll tell you, it's going to be very wrong for very long. If you want her to make it right, it's nothing but a fight. And Jackie said, I'm not apologizing to her for that bad analogy. I needed her to understand how foul her language was. So Marge is more than happy to go inside and try to convince Teresa to apologize because she knows that she won't and this keeps her on camera, but us out of her business. And of course, Teresa starts in on her. She has no backbone, she's weak. And you're uneducated and a thief, a court proven thief. And she's still saying, and her husband is cheating for her to be acting like this. I, I just, I, I mean, Teresa's truly detached from reality. So, of course, we have two heifers at a stalemate. Jackie's refusing to apologize. So, Teresa says, I'll call Evan when she apologizes to me. But Jackie's not going to apologize. Jackie, maybe you just don't need to, to be here anymore. We like you, but you ain't willing to get ignorant enough. You gotta get ignorant with Teresa. Iggy boo. So, Teresa tells everybody, you're attacking me. She talked about my daughter. And storms out. So, Melissa go to get her. Now Dolores walks in. Well, I'm mad at Teresa because why am I an asshole? Because it's five of you's against me. You're an asshole because you're not going along with what Teresa wants. You know that's how she works. So everybody's really sick of this Jackie versus Teresa. And Melissa's like, child, Jackie, you're going to have to live without that apology or say see you to the show. So now we calm everybody down and go do s'mores. But Teresa going to say, she's making us fight. How? How is she making you do anything when she ain't even there? That's how stupid you are. You can be controlled by somebody who ain't even in the room. So Teresa gets Dolores to prank the girls and they go running inside when they hear something in the woods. And that was the half episode. I have to say, they've been giving. This was another good episode. And the fact that the husband said he heard the rumor and Marge denied it, mm, I'm enjoying that. Because now Jackie going to be mad at all of them. She might pull a Monique and leave the show because after all, they're playing at family. But that's what these shows do. I don't know why you think you're going to get on here and they ain't going to attack your merge. Well, I'll see you soon for the sissies from D.C. Since we're talking about merges.